Sixth grade, module three, lesson nine, problem set. Write a story related to the problem sh or to the point shown in each graph. Be sure to indicate a statement relating the numbers graphed on the number line to their order. Okay, so we have zero and four. So we need to just think of something that we can do with zero and four. Um, I'm going to say something about like a bank account, maybe. So let's say there's two people, let's say Sandy and Joe went to the bank. Sandy, let's say Sandy deposited $4 and Joe didn't deposit anything. So all we need to do is make a statement. So that shows what we're doing. We don't have to have a question or anything. We're just describing the chart. So now we just need to describe the placement of the numbers on the chart. I'm going to say 4 is to the right of 0. So 4 is greater than 0. Number two, now we have a vertical number line. We have negative 200 and it looks like about 150. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with the bank account theme. Maybe an investment account when it gains and loses money. Okay, let's say in October, my investment account lost $200. So that would show negative $200. If you're losing money, negative $200. And then in November, things got better. The account gained $150. So that would show that right there, 150. Positive gain. So we can say negative 200 is below 0 and 150 is above 0. So negative 200 is less than 150. Number 3, we have, let's see, there's 0 negative one, it's split into halves. So we have negative one half and negative one and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna think of it in money. Maybe you're spending money and think of it as $1.50 and 50 cents. I'll say I spent $1.50 at the vending machine. yesterday and 50 cents today. So those are both going to be negative because you spent it. You no longer have it. It's negative out of your account. So we can say uh, negative one and a half is farther to the left on the number line. So negative one and a half is less than one and a half. Okay, now we have number four. Negative seven is a point and negative two. Um, they're both negative and they're not huge numbers, so maybe I'll talk about like some sea level. Let's say a fish is swimming two feet 
below sea level. So it's going to be negative because it's below. A shark is swimming. seven feet below sea level. So that would be negative seven because it's below sea level. So we can say negative seven is farther to the left. On the number line, then negative two, so negative seven is less than negative two. Number five, we have negative eight plotted, and see in the middle of four and six, that's probably five. So negative eight and five. I'm gonna go back to money. So let's say I earned Five dollars from doing my chores. This week. Then maybe negative eight, so we will spend some money. Um, then I spent eight dollars. So you spent eight, you're down eight dollars. I spent eight dollars at the movie theater. Now we just need to compare them. So if we want to say it the opposite way that we've been saying it, so I've been talking about the furthest to the left, let's say five is the farthest to the right. So five is greater than negative eight. And six, we have negative three and one. Let's think of something that you might get negative three, something you might get one, uh, maybe a football game. Let's say at the football game, and talk about losing yards. Our team lost three yards on one down and gained so we, that's the negative three but now we need to gain one yard one yard on the next down so that would be positive one We can say negative three is further to the left on the number line than one. So negative three is less than one. And the last one, it looks like we have, so there's zero and one. So these are going to be fractions. It's broken into one, two, three, four, five different pieces. So that looks like one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. So we have three fifths and four fifths pl uh, plotted. Um, let's talk about running distances. So I'll say I ran three fifths mile in gym class. And my friend ran four-fifths of a mile. So we can say four-fifths is above three-fifths on the vertical number line. So four-fifths is greater than three-fifths.